Hello guys, this is Benny from Kamui Cosplay. Usually I'm the one Svetlana forces to paint all of her costumes and props, but today is a very special day, because today Svetlana forced me to make a video about how I paint all of her costumes and props. So today I will show you everything you need to know about how to get started with an airbrush. I really, really love this machine. It helps me to paint Svetlana's crap a lot faster. And every week you guys send me a lot of questions like what type of airbrush do I use? How much did it cost? Where can you get one? What type of paints do I use? And hopefully today I will be able to answer all of these questions for you. So let's not waste any more of your precious time and jump right into it. First, why should you use an airbrush? Well, to be perfectly honest, you don't need to. All the things you can do with an airbrush, you can also do with regular brushes. It just won't be as fast or turn out quite as clean. For example, Svetlana asked me to paint her master sword from Zelda with just regular brushes and acrylics. And I think it turned out just fine. Only when you get closer you can actually start to see all the brush strokes. It did however took me around a full day of work to complete the paint job. In comparison, this shield here, which I painted with an airbrush, looks super clean. There are no brush strokes whatsoever. I was also able to complete the paint job in about 2-3 to three hours. So as you can see, it really depends on your personal preference. Next, what airbrush should you start with? I often hear people that are afraid they won't be able to afford buying an airbrush. The set I'm using however only cost around 80 euros and it came with a compressor, a dual action airbrush pistol, a hose and different needles. This is of course only a beginner set and you can always upgrade later, but you should nevertheless already come pretty far with this. What are good airbrush paint brands? I mostly work with Vallejo, Model Air and Game Air colors. They are really good quality and come in a large variety of colors. The Model Air ones are mostly pretty basic colors, while the Game Air are a bit more fancy. One bottle is only 17 milliliters, but I feel like they last pretty long actually. Also, they only cost around 2 euro 50 per bottle, at least here in Germany, so it's really not that much. Another good brand is Createx Airbrush Colors. To be honest, I don't use them as much though, so I can't really say a lot about them. Vallejo also offers a good amount of high quality metallic colors. These are really good for any type of metal looking paint job. However, if you want your props and armor to look like real metal, try out the Alclad lacquers I mentioned in my last video. They do cost a little bit more though. But can you also mix your own paint? Yes, you can actually use pretty much every standard acrylic paint for your airbrush, if you mix it with enough airbrush thinner. Just keep adding it until it's fluid enough to go through your pistol. Keep in mind though that some paint brands offer their own thinner, so I can't promise that every thinner works equally good with every paint. Now, is an airbrush safe to use? I would say that depends on the colors you're using. The Vallejo colors are all water-based and pretty harmless. I would still suggest at least wearing a dust mask if you plan to paint for a longer period of time. We actually built this handy spray booth out of a cheap IKEA closet and use it to suck away all the paint fumes out of a window. But airbrush paint doesn't really fly very far, so you should be good with just opening a window yourself. And now let's get down to business. How does it even work? It is pretty easy actually. This here is my dual action airbrush pistol. The paint goes inside the little bucket at the top of course. Dual action basically just means that I can control the airflow and the paint flow separately. If I push the button on top, air will start to flow. But only if I push it and drag it backwards, there will also be paint coming out. There's also a wheel at the end, which you can turn to limit the amount of paint that will come out. Just set it lower, if you're afraid to ruin your piece by being too generous with the paint. Now let's turn on the compressor. You will see that the pressure will immediately start building up. Whenever you release some air, it will go down and then build itself back up again. So that's normal. I'm just filling in a little bit of orange color to demonstrate to you how it works. As I said, by pressing it you'll only get air. But drag the button backwards and paint will come out too. Pull it only a little and you can apply a really thin coat of paint. Pull it a lot and you'll get a strong and thick application. If you go close, you can draw pretty fine lines. And if you go farther away, you can cover a lot of space in a short time. 
but what if no paint is coming through? Well in this case there's most likely something stuck inside your paint bucket. Just block the tip with your finger and then try to spray to get the trapped air bubbles to clear anything that might block your paint flow. After that it should usually work again. And if not I'm afraid you might have to clean the airbrush completely. And what if you get big water drops coming out with your paint? Well just like us you most likely live in a pretty humid environment. For this I actually bought a separate water filter that I connected between the compressor and the hose. Just check it and release the trapped humidity by pressing the release a few times. Oh by the way, if you don't answer all the questions you have, we also have this wonderful book about airbrush painting for props and cosplay with a lot of just lovely examples just for you. And last but not least, how do you clean your airbrush? If you don't have a spray booth, I highly recommend getting one of these airbrush cleaning stations. You can just dock your pistol here and spray any remaining paint inside. The filter here will help keep your house clean of fumes. Now if you're done with your paint job or just want to change the color, you'll first have to empty your paint bucket. Put any leftover paint back into the tube and then use a towel to clean the paint bucket as best as you can. Then fill in some airbrush cleaner, blow some bubbles and use a small brush to get rid of any remaining paint. At this point you're ready to fill in another color. If you want to stop painting however, you will need to take the airbrush apart again. As you can see there is still some paint left on the needle. Just wipe it with a towel and repeat this step a few times until it's completely clean. You can also put some airbrush cleaner on your brush and clean the tip if you want. And if you really want to go hardcore, you can also screw off the needle tip and clean the inside here, but it's not really necessary. Cleaning the airbrush every time is definitely the most annoying part about the whole process. And finally, I just wanted to show you a quick example of all the things I just showed you in action. For this, I picked Svetlana's Tsinogre Dual Blades from Monster Hunter. I started to paint the scaly looking blade by applying a very light sand colored layer. After this I grabbed a darker tone to add some shadows and then an even darker one for some more. As you can see I mostly try to stick close to the texture. Next I used some masking tape to protect the color work I've done so far and repeated the whole process with blue colors on the other side. Only this time I went dark first and then applied brighter shades afterwards. Finally the handle also got some silver and bone colored shading and after applying a setting gloss varnish to seal everything the paint job was done. It's really fast and a lot of fun to paint with an airbrush. You should try it out too. So I hope I answered all of your questions but if you still have any of them left just write me a comment down below. But if you can't or don't want to work with an airbrush out of any personal reason, we also have this wonderful book about painting without an airbrush, just with brushes and acrylics. And I'm not getting forced to say any of this by her books. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, leave a like or hit the notification bell, or you can also support our videos if you head over to Patreon or join our YouTube channel down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.